Hey, welcome back to the channel. Again, it is Friday night, not Tuesday night, so that means something special's coming. What's coming, Shelly? Well, if you're here and you're watching this, then you might have already seen our previous episodes, but in case you didn't, uh, we went up to South Dakota and we met up with a lovely couple named Sean and Kareen, and they are YouTubers and they have their own channel called Travels of Red Rover. And we talked about all things photography. It started out as just a casual chat and we decided it should be recorded and we should share it with other photographers like you. So this week we're talking about inspiration. Mm -hmm. Last week's episode aired on their channel on Friday. I will leave a link to the whole playlist so that you can just watch all the videos in order, no matter which channel they're on down below and up in a card above. So please take the time to look at that. And last week was also about inspiration. So we kind of asked them and then they kind of asked us. And there's a little bit more humor in this one than you're probably used to seeing even in my videos. So I hope you enjoy and please stay tuned all the way to the end because we've got something special to tell you about after we're done out in the field talking with Sean and Corey. But you, Craig. Okay. Ansel Adams. <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> um, I've got several of his books. I, I love how he saw his vision. He, he, he's a very technical shooter. I mean, heck, he, he developed some of the systems that we still use right. in black and white photography. Um, his post-processing in the analog darkroom was right. just <clears throat> astonishing. Um, and I think today he if he had what we had today i yeah. think his images would still stand out yeah they would be some of the most powerful landscapes created um jumping forward you know in the more modern sense you know with youtube i i have to say um chris sale yeah he's a lake district photographer um i see him as a friend yeah he, he and I have been chatting and stuff, and he, he is a very strong technical shooter. His post-processing is just excellent, and um, he gets it, you know. And part of that is probably because he and I have kind of the same background. We were both in, we were both in IT. And right. he, he's done what I would love to do someday. Right. <laughs> you know, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Bob, if you're watching... Not anytime soon. <laughs> anyway, um, him, Julian B Baird, Baird. Uh, who does a lot in Darthmore. Uh, he, he's another IT guy. I, I kind of tend towards the <laughs> IT guys because I think we have a bond. We're, we're technical, and they, then we go out and we do this creative thing on the side. And, and his images are pretty good. Um smaller channels would be yeah. um i really agree with you there that's th some of the smaller channels out there they have really good photographers and guys that are struggling a little bit with the youtube yeah but their photography blows away those problems that they have with the youtube yeah there's a there's a mate over in australia uh andrew hooker yeah um phenomenal photographer great guy um, always has positive feedback, great stories. He does some good good stuff on his channel as well. I'll leave a link down below. Yeah, in fact, we'll leave a link to all yeah. of them once we're mentioning down below. Yeah, everything that we talk about will be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to fill that comment section. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think we're allowed like 7,000 words, so it's going to be a lengthy one. Yeah. <laughs> what we might have to do is put a link... To the links. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> but, you know, I think, you know, for the most part, everybody's inspired by Heaton. I mean, Heaton, Heaton is like, him and Ben Horn are the godfathers of yeah. YouTube photography in a landscape fashion. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, if you're not watching them for any kind of inspiration or, you know, just to relax to, because uh, Heaton can be funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's weird when he does it, but he, he's, he's a good guy. Although I think I'd say in terms of funny, Gavin oh, gosh, Hardcastle yes, Gavin. takes the. Yeah. I mean, he's the one that takes the prize for that. So. He's with Photo Tripper. With yes. Photo Tripper, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
But what about Simon Baxter? I was Simon gonna Baxter, mention yes, Simon. yes. yes. I, I, and I have to point out, I think part of our problem over here is uh, landscape photographers on YouTube have to have two things going for them. English accent. Yeah. And a dog. Yeah. <laughs> and Heaton has added a third. A Mitsubishi Delica van. Right. And you got to compete with Heaton and Gibbs on building out your van. Right. Now, I've been told recently, because I said, hey, can we get a van? I want to get a Delica. I was told no. So, I'm not going to have the dog, happen. and I'm not going to have the accent or nope. the van. So my nope. numbers are going to stay where they're at. Yeah. I enjoy watching uh, Simon Baxter a lot, mm -hmm. but my struggle is that in Nevada, I don't have the type of forest that right. he has. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Shelley? Well, Simon ba Simon Baxter is on my list. I mean, yeah. I his forest photography is just amazing. Yeah. I mean, he can take something that anybody else can look at and say, this is just a jumbled mess. How am I going to take anything from this? Yeah. And he can make a beautiful photograph out of it, which is amazing to me. Um, Ansel Adams, of course. you got to <laughs> include Ansel Adams. And I happened to get lucky. I was in a training class in Sacramento, and they have an art um, museum there. Uh, the cook, I can't remember the name of it off the off the top of my head but down below yeah we'll put it down below <laughs> yeah and a link, um, <laughs> and a link yeah. but they had an ansel adams exhibit and it yeah. was all of his photographs that he had taken in yosemite when he went with george o'keefe mm -hmm. and it was just amazing i mean just looking at those just they just struck me and that's one of the things that kind of inspired me to get into photography was, was those photographs um I mean, there's other people that I've liked. I mean, we took classes at the Art Institute, and we had a history of photography, and d just the 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 professionals back in the day that shot daguerreotypes yeah. was just amazing to me. Their work just comes alive on that format. Yeah. It's just unbelievable. Dorothea Lang, her photographs are just amazing. I don't take, I'm like you, I don't take portraits, um, but I would love to. I mean, yeah. to be able to take a photograph of someone like that would be amazing. I think Who didn't turn the phone <laughs> off? <laughs> Oops. Um. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> okay, so if you notice, I had to put on a sweater because, quite frankly, <laughs> they could cut ice. <laughs> At this point. As Gavin says. And then I had a face like a chipmunk, too. But anyway. Hey, thank you very much for putting up with the shenanigans of four photographers in front of an RV with no good light to shoot. Yes, that's the truth. It was kind of a bland day, even though I did get sidetracked a couple of times during these discussions, which we're going to have more of. Next week we'll be on Sean and Kareen's channel, Travels of Red Rover. So go check that out next Friday. Check out their next video on Sunday morning. And uh, we're giving you a little hint about where our last video in the field was and where next week's is. Shelly, you want to give them a little bit more of a hint if they can't read the shirt? Well, there's a little bit of geosplaining involved and it'll take place in one of the states up north and I think you'll really enjoy it. So check it out. Yeah. Minus the geosplaining, it's going to be a lot of photos probably <laughs> because uh, it was a gorgeous night and uh, I got some really good great qualities of light and I don't want to spoil it too much because I still got to get in the house and get those photos edited so that they can be in the video. So I apologize in advance if I've teased all this and it doesn't happen on Tuesday. So if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Ding the bell for future notifications Ding. and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>